Happy Saturday. Okay, good morning. I thought I was recording earlier, but I wasn't. So I'm going to get on here today and talk about the antics of Nature Boy. And so basically, and Nature Boy was found guilty of all charges, right? And during the time of his trial, whatever, it was, it was crazy, you know? Apparently, he got to some of the people in this group. He was talking to them, and I guess they came up with a, with a plan, right, to get him out of there. And so they got up on the witness stand, and they lied, 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 lied. Now, there was one part, one clip that I saw that basically was a member of the group that got up there and said that, you know, they slapped each other as a way to get attention. You know, like after they saw the Will Smith snap, slap, they decided to do that for attention as well. Well, lawyer pointed out, look, the Will Smith slap didn't happen until after he was arrested and had charges against him. You know, the slap happened before the Will Smith situation. And so she called her out, called the, the group out on that, right? And it was just sad. It was just sad that everybody got up there and they decided to lie to get him out of there and it didn't work. And the thing is, the issue or the the, the question was, did he sexually assault the young lady? Did he do it? I still don't see how they proved that he sexually assaulted her. I think they proved more than anything that he was a cult. But we already knew that. That wasn't anything that we didn't know. We knew he was a cult. The thing is this. People have a right to think for themselves and this is just my personal opinion i'm not an expert or anything like that these people chose to go along with this man's foolishness and to believe that he was god i'm just saying like the whole thing is crazy to me right it is and i feel like they made the decision based off of the the treatment he gave them as far as being a cult so-called cult leader but did he actually sexually sexually assault her is the question in hand I personally don't know. I just didn't see it. I couldn't tell because already from the jump, there was already abuse and mistreatment happening within all these people, all these members. So everything was already messed up as it is. So in my opinion, it was already their understanding to do whatever this man said to do, whether it was crazy or not. I'm not saying I would go along with it. Look, can't tell me much of anything, okay? I'm not mind of my own, okay? Just saying. But I just feel as though they were already in that whole mindset of the cult thinking, which they chose to be a part of. Now, was that having them do certain sexual things to one another? It's not for kids, by the way. One another? I don't know. It sounds like it. It sounds like they went into this knowing that this man was doing all these crazy things and they went along with it because he said it was God. I mean... To me, it, it's crazy. Like, you mean because somebody tells you they're God? You're going to do, you're going to slap people in the face. You're going to let them put their hands on you. You're going to do what they tell you to do. You're going to let them disrespect you and harm your body. I'm just saying. So, in my opinion, he was found guilty on being a cult leader, not on the sexual assault. Well, does he deserve to be in jail? Yes and no. I feel like he did do some things that, that he should be in jail for. Like he did do some, like, okay, if you break it down, take take away the whole cult thing. This man was manipulative and abusive on many levels. So if you look at it that way, then yeah, he needs to be in jail. But do I think that he sexually assaulted her? I'm not clear on that. They didn't prove it. Because she already, she keeps calling it lovemaking and all this stuff. Like she's not really coming out and saying, hey, you know, I violated. He awed me. She's not really saying that. So it could be because of the whole cult thing. Maybe she don't understand how it works, that your body is your body and it's your right to tell somebody no. I don't know if she doesn't understand this. What I can tell you, he's out there. He's mentally out there. They're all mentally messed up out there. And he's being punished for being a cult leader, not for assaulting her. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for watching me. Bye.